tuning in. We will now return to our English programming on ATV World. Hello and welcome to this edition of Crossover. I'm Ji Xiaojun with Charlotte and Julian. And yesterday we were talking about your personal stories and how you felt about a foreigner developing in China, having a career in China. Today, basically, we're going to talk about how do people get famous? Because there are different ways. To, I mean, okay. to be a foreigner sometimes gives you the opportunity to become famous, mm. like your own personal experience. Mm -hmm. But somehow, the traditional ways, like in many other countries, I guess it would be true in France and in, in the States, the traditional ways to get famous would be through uh, uh, movies, uh, if you're a movie star, if you're a singer, if you're a good one, uh, through uh, TV, if Reality you're a good star. Shows. Reality shows. Reality oh, shows. That might be uh, relatively new, but if you, you know, these are the ways, or, or if you're, you have a very famous father, you know, Jackie Chan's famous and his oh, son, son is in this business too. I know what you mean. So now we're talking about not only about foreigners, no. you mean about people, ha how do people get yeah, famous a, in this society? A broader okay. picture, and how do people get famous these days? Okay. Yeah, well, and if, I guess that this would be true uh, in, in your countries too. I mean, if you are a film star, that's why actually, because in, in, in China, this is such a big business in the entertainment in the, uh, well, industry. Uh, and so many people get famous because they've uh, starred in a, a hit movie. And we, this is the picture, because there is, we oh. have the Film Academy. Uh, actually, every year they only recruit, I don't know, maybe 30, 40 students for acting. But you would see uh, tens, uh, tens of thousands, if not you know, hundreds of thousands of people signing up you know, applying for a position in that small class. Yes. And I think you see, you see more people applying to academies, film academies, or drama, you know, drama academies. academies now, because, especially in China, because China has seen quite a few international movie stars. Mm -hmm. I mean, you have Zhang Ziyi, Gong Li, you know, that have all made it into Hollywood and become international phenomenon. So it seems Jack as the, the dream is possible. The dream is possible, so it's becoming much more popular so too. All of a sudden, it's within your, your, your reach. I mean, you can almost touch it. And there is another very unique way of getting famous in China is the uh, big uh, galas, like the, <laughs> especially the Spring Festival the spring Gala. Festival. Oh, yeah. Explain a, a oh, Spring Festival yeah. Gala. This is so unique well, in China. Well, the Spring Festival Gala, I have to say, was back in the day, maybe 10, 20 years ago, mm. was the way the to get famous. The only way. Really, the, the main way, because it's once a year, Spring Festival Eve, Chinese New Year Eve, CCTV's huge celebration akin to the Oscars, or here's a picture of, of Yeah, the everyone gala. wants to be on that stage. It is the, the, the stage to be on, and the place to be seen, and to perform. Here are the hosts. Our colleagues, yeah. That was so, I mean, CCTV, because Spring Festival is such an important festival. It's uh, the most important one. Mm -hmm. And CCTV is the national TV network. And when you see the combination of this two, it's still the... Basically, on Spring Festival Eve, all channels around China, whether it's CCTV channels or provincial channels, will broadcast this show because everyone, the entire nation... Really? Yes. Yeah. Are the other channels broadcast? Yes. Okay. The, the major entire ones. Major one, okay. nation watches well, this show. I mean, it's Here. like virtually 80% of the total population it's of unreal. the whole country. Yeah. Yes. Well, uh, but still, it, it's not what it used to be in terms of influence because, uh, as you were saying, more choices 15, these days, yeah. it has so many more choices. I mean, there are much more people who don't watch it now, even if uh, still, I mean, it's more in the big cities, so it's mm. a small part of the population. But the overall feeling now is that people don't, are not, you know, glued to the TV set mm. all night. They kind of wait, to be honest, 
after a few shows, everyone waits for the top and shot. Yeah, I'm talking that about that's going to be around midnight and and keeps the TV on and, and talks to their friends but, and you know. But, but now it's the year 2010, mm -hmm. and now you know China, China's entertainment industry and television industry has is competitive with any, you know, with the United States, with France, with any mm -hmm. any country really. Mm -hmm. But 10, 20 years ago. It all you know, started in 83, 1983. Right, the Spring, the festival, spring festival Gala. Gala. I mean, this was the annual sort of big event that everyone in China could see. Sure. Yeah, it's like the new tradition, because you know, from my personal experience, I started to watch Spring Festival Gala in 1984 with my father. It's like the tradition in my family. Well, we would, before that, it's like, you know, because Spring Festival is the night the whole family would get together. Right. And wherever you are, just go back uh, to, to unite with your family members. And that night we would have a get together meal, a big meal. And before that, it will be, you know, you finish the meal and you sit together, have a little chat. Mm -hmm. But after this, after 1984 in my family, we would, you know, try to uh, have the, fa have the uh, get together meal done earlier bef than usual, uh, th than before. And just sit there in front of the TV, waiting for the start of the Spring Festival it's Gala. Part, it, I mean, watching the, the gala now is part of celebrating the holiday. It's mm. not just something that is on TV that you can watch. It's become part of the celebration. But I'm going to tell you something. If, you're on the, if you don't have a very, very good uh, show for you on the show, on the mm. uh, Spring Festival Gala, people, I mean, it's interesting that there are so many internet forums Mm. Um, going on discussions all over the place. Sometimes somebody already famous was on the show and after he was on there, no one even noticed, talked about, discussed about it on the web. You see that there are so many other topics that uh, I'm sure we're going to talk about that a little bit later. That's true. I mean, I mean, people don't even care right now because it's, you know, it's, if every year on the, on the gala, one person can become famous because of that. Yeah, you know, that's it's true. Because uh, years ago, this is the stage. This is the opportunity, and uh, we see, we do see overnight stars like Big Mountain. He's one of the that's examples. Right. That's right, Mark uh, he he became well. famous overnight after he performed for the Spring Festival. But this was, mm. but these days, because we we have so much more choices, we we can, you know, we have so much choices we can tend to, and this is just understandable, because uh, you know you don't have to stick to just one, one. show and the influence is not as big as it was years before but again to be on that stage to be on TV to be on Spring Festival Gala or to be a, a another gala as big and not maybe not as big but it's still quite big is the opportunity for many singers actresses hey, to you, you wanted to famous. see me sing I was in no, I was on it in 08 you was there well you can check you it out there. sorry I was singing yeah we were eight singing there so yeah, that's you were that's because you were one of the eight. <laughs> well, the other eight, that's, you see, the other eight are you, much more famous okay, than I. Okay, that explains <laughs> that explains mm. why it's eight of you. It's not one of you because so many people want to be on that. Even show. if it was one, if you know, if you're not so good or so special, that's true. That's true. If if it's a show, even for me, if I'm not really really special or good, people are going to forget about me well, very very soon. And that's safe. because now the bar is set a lot higher. You exactly. know, this used yeah. to be the main platform for exactly. becoming a star, really. And now there are so many ways to become famous and to to get you know the attention of of, of the public. That's and true. Everything. And we'll we'll come back to that. I mean, we have so many new ways to get famous and. We'll talk about that right after this short break. Welcome back to Crossover. And now we come to the point to talk about the new ways to get famous. Because just now you mentioned the reality shows. It's relatively a new phenomenon in China's entertainment circle. It's, we see the uh, uh, singing competitions. Mm like the super girl, just super like girl Chinese version of American Idol. American Idol. Super boy, I guess. Yeah, super Superman boy, super girl. This year we have the super boy and different uh, local TV stations that are doing, you know, similar things. Mm -hmm. It's usually super boys who look like girls and super girls who look like boys now. 
And the the <laughs> honestly, <laughs> no just comments. Check them no out. Comments. Check them out. Honestly. Anyway, and the latest um, the latest uh, show, a reality show, will be the matchmaking show. It's just popular, you know. That's right. They've really taken off the matchmaking shows, so dating the dating game yeah. shows and stuff like that. But you know what? It's all acted. So if you want to, I mean, I, I wouldn't deny the fact that there are I mean, true cases in these shows. But well, it's uh, as I was saying. <laughs> Um, I think it's a combination of very uh, well uh, organized. It's a play. It's a script. It's a show. It's a show. In it's the first so place. it has it's a script. It is a show. It's mostly actors and a few people who are dumb enough to 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 really think it think of it as a real thing. Well, and you have yeah. a mixture of all Not that. Not necessarily. I mean, exactly. I think regardless, people are entertained by this. And the mm -hmm. point is they're entertained by watching the show, whether it's real or fake or planned or not planned. The point is, it has a huge audience draw yeah, right no, now. I was, not, I, was, I was talking about people who are dumb enough to be on the show and to watch it. Well, but, like, but it's different. Some people really don't understand what it is about and think of it as a real I mean, thing. But, it, yeah. but you can't deny people become, I, people get famous from being on these shows. That's right. Because they're so popular. And one, it is a show in the first place because it's, it's broadcasting on, on TV stations and uh, second we can't say because this is a show on TV uh, that you know all these people participating in these shows are not serious and some of them they are seriously looking for their dates they're looking for their girlfriends or boyfriends a few of them yeah quite and is. some of them are looking for an opportunity to become more famous that's and right do most other of them yeah. that's right I yeah. mean but I mean to be honest, this is the platform, and this is what's happening. And then when they get famous, they get famous. They have their market. Why don't we discuss why do they get famous on a okay, show like this? Okay, let me tell you something. Uh, first of all, we think in a traditional way, uh, such as, you know, there are people who have skills, and to manage all that, they're going to need an agency, and then, you know, an agency to take care of everything and also find them some opportunities. Now, it's something different. You have big networks, big um, websites, mm. and big agencies who need fame, and especially the networks and the especially the networks and the and, and the websites. They need the the, the numbers. The they icons. need people yeah. clicking. They, they, they need that. So what they do is they create a huge amount of fake news. Uh, fake popular people stuff all the time that if they are lucky will get enough clicks no. to become real famous people and but they create stuff like that tons of those every single day I, I but I think you're going to another extreme you say nothing on TV is true no, 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 I'm not saying nothing but a lot of what happens now the, the, the main principle is that there are so many different medias right now but that if you want to become famous you have to consider doing promotion on, let's, I'm, I'm going to name a few of the, the buses, taxis, TV, but radio, uh, the, 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 the websites, everything, and all kinds of... But if you, you know. go back to these reality shows, either it's a singing competition or the matchmaking show, mm -hmm. the ones who get famous are because either they sing well, but in most cases, it's because this is the platform where we can see the personalities of these participants. That's right. You like the personalities or you don't. That's right, and and being able to see the personalities. Here's oh here's, here's how it started. She's the major one, the first uh, important uh, champion, national champion in the singing competition, Supergirl, and she even uh, became the uh, well the cover girl. People like these participants because people like their personalities. Cause this, that's the platform. Yes, and I have to say. Ten, 10 years ago, maybe, before these reality shows or reality shows became popular, you, you didn't, at least in China anyway, you didn't have as sort of a, a wide opportunity to get to know the individual personalities of the stars you like to watch on television. That's true. Whereas now you have the internet, you have reality yeah. shows, you have all these different ways to actually to some extent, get to know the person, know the personality, know beyond, you know, that they're a good singer and they sing songs or actor and they act in films, what they're like. And, and, uh, and to some extent, they also see the possibility that someday in the future, they might just become 
one of them. They see the hope. That, that's what I want to say. It keeps the dream alive because, uh, you know, in the 80s, beginning of the 90s, especially with the Hong Kong stars and everything, mm -hmm. they were so high up there, you know, that people were kind of idolizing them but they didn't feel close to them. So back then it worked. But to some point, obviously, it develops in another direction. That's true. And people see that, oh, yes, that she was just like me. Somebody uh, aspiring to become, because all those kids who watch them, who love those people like uh, Liu Chun here, yeah. they have been also in the, uh, at least the uh, elim uh, elimination room, uh, round of, the, of those Competitions. Competitions. Mm. And they feel like they're one of them. And really, you see this phenomenon all over the world. That's right. This, this phenomenon yes. of yesterday you were just an average Joe Schmo on the street or, you know, Mary from wherever, and today you're a superstar. And we also seen the change of this, well, what we say, the rule of the, this industry. Because years ago, they want to keep the distance from their fans, because that's how they you know, I don't know, maintain the, uh, the, uh, mystery or the mystery, mystique. you need the mystery. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mystery, distance means the star power, the stardom. But these days, uh, they're doing it by giving you hope that someday, somehow, you would become one of them. And then this is also the uh, platform where you can express yourself. Well, those are the cases with the reality shows, Super Boys, Super Girl, or, or the matchmaking shows. And next, we're going to show you some pictures of the ones who get really famous on the internet. We'll be right back. The 